You know, I just gotta say, Evernote, I'm a little bit concerned in some ways. I'm concerned first and foremost that Monday has absolutely destroyed you recently. I mean, can we appreciate this Google advertising? Monday.com is so much better when you look up Evernote at Google. That is so savage. But first and foremost, there have been some recent price hikes. I came across this article a couple weeks ago that talked about how Evernote has got some price hikes that no one's really excited about and the price hikes were pretty substantial. They were doing some plans on their website previously for single digit dollars per month and now you, know, you, you see a bit of a price increase here which a lot of people are upset about and I know it's a highly debated topic in general in the productivity space that things are paid for in general so the community wasn't too happy about that. However, Evernote acknowledged this in a recent update post where they basically said while the price increase is frustrating for customers they're proceeding with it anyway because the vast majority of subscribers are seeing the first price increase in almost seven years which considering inflation totally fair for a company they've added a lot of different features and uh i'm glad they're acknowledging this though because with these improvements in or increases in price rather you're gonna need to have some sort of performance and reliability improvements for anything to be warranted. They're claiming that by now, the amount of issues you're gonna see, bugginess wise with some of the same note conflicts gonna be drastically reduced and that you're gonna get real-time editing. That's right, on May 5th, they announced that real-time editing builds upon the improvement of synchronization discussed above. And this means you're gonna be able to collaborate more, but not only that, they're finally bringing Evernote AI pretty soon. Something that I do like about this specifically is that they're resting assuring us that the AI features will be opt-in only, meaning the data won't be processed by the AI model unless you explicitly direct Evernote to do so. That is pretty significant considering a lot of companies are just like implementing this stuff without even thinking about asking anyone. So kudos to them for that. The first thing that they're gonna implement is an ability to clean notes up. Now I really like this and I'm gonna give them some props here because something that happens often with this excessive amount of input is that in a note-taking app in general, I think it's more important to clarify the information there than to create more content. The average user online doesn't really do a great job of curating the content that they put out. And AI, in my opinion, has just caused it to be harder for people to organize their online information. So now that we have AI here, Evernote is taking a great first step in doing two main things. One, having an AI note cleanup, and two, AI search, which is also very smart. Long story short, you're going to be able to ask questions in natural language directly to the Evernote app via text and receive an instant answer based on the content of your notes. Now, this is something similar that we're probably seeing with Notion AI, where it can pick up on the page context that you have within the different queries on Notion AI. However, it's using that page context to answer the questions from the information that it has as well as the notes that you've taken. I kind of like this more so than all the other routes that a lot of these AI apps have gone where they're utilizing ChatGPT to just output more information, but this seems to be more curation and retrieval of information, which I actually am all for. Now, what I'm hoping is that Bending Spoons' acquisition of Evernote is going to mean that this company will save this dang app because it was one of the most popular productivity apps for a long time. It's one that I consistently knock now because it's really easy. And for some odd reason, it gets a lot of clicks and people seem to agree. But if they're gonna make a better product, if they're gonna make a more stable product, it does have some really good qualities. It's got OCR, and I know a lot of people complain when I say that Notion's much better than Evernote, even as a note-taking application, because Notion doesn't have OCR, which, means optical character recognition so it can like figure out text from printed text into it's important you know when you take a picture you can take that and put it into your notes by extracting the text from the picture so i can see how that's a big feature but that's like the one like up you guys got i'm i'm gonna I'm keep it honest maybe you got a google calendar integration kudos but outside of that it's been a buggy platform it hasn't gotten on the ai race yet and maybe just maybe it's going to be a worthy competitor once again what are your thoughts on this and what do you think Bending Spoons is going to do with this application moving forward? Are you going to try out Evernote even though there's a price hike? Let me know in the comment section down below and let me know what your thoughts are on this video on how to improve your productivity even more.